Hello and welcome to NyxTube. Today I'm going to be doing a simple shape animation in After Effects. Um, here I am, I am in a new composition. I'm going to start with the shape layer. It doesn't so much matter what the shape layer looks like. I'm going to come back to it in a moment. And I'm going to need some text. So I'm going to take my text tool, um, my horizontal type, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to write my text. Liquid text is going to be the tutorial we're doing today. I'm going to grab my move tool and I'm going to move that text into the center of my document. Now if I wanted to adjust the, the style of the text I could double click on it and in my character panel I can change the font style. Um, actually I like the one that I had um, but now it's gone so let's change the font style. Um, you could change the font color. The font color does affect it. Here is the size right I can size it up and down. I want it to be nice and large within my space. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put an effect on the shape layer. So the effect that I'm going to choose, I'm going to go to Effects and Presets, it's called Turbulence Displace, right? So you can start to type that in and it'll, and it'll, it'll affect it. I'm going to take that Turbulent Displace effect and I'm going to pop it onto that shape layer. And you're going to see it kind of makes it look wavy. Now if I wanted to affect the waviness of this, I could go into my effect controls on the left hand side here. I can, let's see, I can include increase the size of it, I can increase the amount of it, and I can even make a change over time. If I opened up or if I opened up my um, panel here, right, and see how you can go into effects, these are the same things that are happening up here if I open up the, the turbulence there and you can see the same um, different settings in there. So let's say I wanted the complexity of it to change over time from the beginning of my video to the end then I can move myself forward and kind of affect that as well. Now just to show you what I mean I'm going to move this shape layer up so you can see it kind of animate as I'm moving it up. Right? It's getting pixelated because it's trying to render at the same time. Okay, the next step of this is I'm going to go to my text layer, right? I want to bring my shape layer above my text layer, and I'm going to go to my, my liquid text layer here, and I'm going to toggle here because I want to get it to the point where I can see the track, right? I want to be able to see the, the track one here. So let me go ahead. I need to expand that a little bit. And I'm going to go to my, my text layer here, and I'm going to go Composition. I'm going to go to the Layer menu. I'm sorry, Layer menu pre-compose and I'm making sure that this is clicked move all attributes into one composition composition and hit okay okay so that's gonna kinda edit that a little bit and, and change what I can see there alright I need let me click on this let me bring up my tracks okay so I clicked on this little icon over here right to see all my different layer options now I'm going to apply this text I want to apply this shape right it's gonna mask out this shape with this text so I click on it you should see your text go away Right? But the text isn't actually away because the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move that shape layer. I'm going to go back to the shape layer and move it up and down and you'll see your text appear right in that kind of style. Now I want it over time in my video I want my text to appear so I'm going to go to the beginning of my video. I'm going to open up the shape layer. Right, I'm going to go down to transform and set the position. At the beginning of my video the shape is here. At the end of my video, let me move it forward Right, two seconds. We'll make it a quick one and I'm going to move this shape up then my text should appear. And if I go back and I play it back you have liquid text. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more cool tricks to do in After Effects.